Banjolix, how are you doing? I've been meaning to change the format of these videos for a while because, well, rewatching them, I realized they were not that interesting. I mean, it was cool to see the uh, progress of a painting being made, but other than that, there was uh, no actual value to the videos. I, I watched a lot of uh, other people's tutorials, and uh, I, I kind of like the commentaries in them because it just gives me an insight of what's going through the, uh, the artist's uh, head as they're painting and, and the reason why they're taking certain choices and uh, so I thought I'll do something similar here and uh, as you could see um, I had sketched the uh, done a rough sketch of the scene already this is from uh, Wonder Boy 3 the Dragon's Trap on Master Systems it's probably one of my favorite video game ever really I, I love this game so much and the soundtrack is just freaking awesome in it so I've done an initial sketch a very rough sketch and I'm, I'm going over it with the uh, black paint uh, and it's not the final outline it's just gives me an idea of where my um, zones are and, and just uh, a sense of you know space in the painting uh, I will be going over all these lines again at the end of the painting anyway uh, and what I'm doing here first is I'm, I'm putting a first layer of colors now um, because I'm using acrylics and I dilute them quite a bit um, just the way I, I like to work these are not fully opaque as you can see the uh, the black is showing under that so uh, um, again just gives, it gives me a, an idea of all my zones um, and uh, areas in the painting uh, and these will be refined as I'm, I'm layering uh, more and more. The, the difficulty um, in doing scenes like that, that look very simple on uh, on, on paper, but they're actually, uh, they take me much, much longer to do than uh, the other more traditional type of paintings because um, you have to be a lot more deliberate and I'm using a source material that you know a lot of people would be familiar with um, so yeah it's, it, it takes me forever to do these uh, normally I do the other ones in about an hour and these take me uh, sometimes up to two two and a half hours um, and I know it probably would be faster to do them with Posca pens, uh, which seems to be the preferred choice for a lot of people, but um, I'm a painter and I like brushes anyway, um, and uh, I'm, yeah, I'm a painter at heart, so uh, I just use the medium I'm familiar with. Um, but it, it gives me that full realized painting feel as well. I, I find Posca is a bit too neat. Um, I, I, kinda, I, I like imperfections. Uh, in, well, in my work, luckily, and uh, in other people's work, I like it's the uh, imperfections that I like because it tells me a story about the process and the artist, uh, him or herself. So, um, yeah, it, it, Pasca paints would be better, uh, probably cleaner, but it, brushes and, uh, and paint is what I like really. You get an idea of the way I like to work as well, sort of top to bottom and uh, and uh, left to right. Obviously because I'm right-handed, but also because uh, um, I, I don't, you know, if I painted right to left, obviously I would actually smudge the previous paint I just laid out. Uh, same as writing, really, it's the same, uh, same idea, but uh, um, a lot of people like to, you know, jump different areas and different zones. I sort of like to work from top to bottom, left to right, um, and, and get these areas completed as I, as I go down the painting. Uh, it's not always true, though, um, and I... I uh, I, uh, especially if I layer the painting, I, 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 each layer is worked top to bottom, left to right, but, and then I go back and, and do the same, uh, refine all my areas. But here you can see I'm using a very diluted um, color, I think it's Van Dyck Brown, and uh, I use the same color for all that uh, tower area and the uh, checker um, <clears throat> platform. And I just uh, use diluted uh, versions of it uh, just to give me a, that shading effect and uh, just to um, mix with a bit of uh, white it's it's not titanium white uh, I don't use pure white really um, I don't have it here actually <laughs> maybe I should uh, should learn the name but it's uh, it's it's a grayer sort of white um, just for the highlights uh, in some areas now that I'm happy that I I've completed that um, left edge I'm uh, actually going over uh, some of the uh, some of the area other areas you can see actually I'm on the far right sort of contradicting myself but it's because I'm I'm working on one color at a time uh, for this painting it just makes it easier um, and then it makes it easier because I use the same brushes for every color ideally you would have different brushes for each color so you don't smudge your your colors but then uh, 
I don't have a lot of brushes, so um, I, li I like to work per uh, per color. So uh, I've done the uh, second layer of color on the brown on the trees and on the shadows, and I'm moving to the uh, second color for the greens and the shadows for the greens. And uh, so I'm working as well here from the base color, apply the shadows, and then I bring it back to um, to lighter colors. Um, typically, for my more traditional painting, I like to work from light to dark, uh, back to front. But um, in this case, it's easier to work from uh, from dark and bring it back to light. So, um, yeah, that's the way I'm working. So I've done my uh, my greens, and now I'm refining my browns again, and uh, just bringing the uh, the light back in. And uh, yeah, it's hard to do pixel art in, in painting, obviously, unless you actually uh, uh, do what a uh, square painter does and just divide all your canvas per, you know, um, have a grid system and, and each, each square is a pixel, but it, it takes forever. I admire patience uh, doing it <laughs> because, man, that takes forever. Um, but it's not, the, yeah, it's not the way I work. Um, but what I do is I just add little details here. You can see highlights in the trees with a, a bit of white mixed in my green, uh, just to give it that sort of pixelated feel. Now I'm working now on the platform the character is standing on, and these have a very specific design, and I wasn't sure how to do it first, but and I actually just went for a very, very, very rough uh, looking uh, design because um, I, I, I thought the emphasis of that zone specifically should be on the character and not on these tiles. So I just made them very, very rough, um, just using two colors, and left them uh, like that. Um, because I think that area, that center um, area, especially the centerpiece on the canvas, uh, should be all about the character that's there. And um, now going over the character, and I, I do the same thing I do for everything um, in this painting. I, I went over, a, put a second layer of every color that's on the character and I work the shadows first. Um, it, it, working the shadows first actually gives you that sense of volume. Um, so you, that's when you're actually defining your volume. The highlights, the lighter colors will then just add the details uh, of that uh, on that volume. So it will give you exactly where the high points on that surface are, but it's the shadows really that define the volume. Um, and I'm just going, um, you know, little areas one at a time, and it's just sort of blending the the line between the shadow and the main color. And then uh, I haven't done much in the highlight department because the uh, the character doesn't really have any sort of glossy areas on him. So um, uh, yeah, so it, it has to be just mostly mostly uh, main color and shadow, tiny bit of highlight but that's the way cell shading works for a pixel art. Uh, and now it's time to do the uh, left part, <laughs> the right part of the painting. Why am I confusing the two? The uh, right part of the painting, and uh, because I think the emphasis is on the character, and for some reason the doors um, are, are very detailed in the game. Uh, so I'm just doing the roof and, uh, and wall, again in one or two colors. Um, here I'm just adding a dark and a, a uh, lighter um, lines, you know, those squiggly lines side by side just to give, you know, just a bit of variety, but uh, very simple, to, you know, not not too deliberate, very, uh, very loose. Uh, you can see all the lines, not really a line. Doesn't really matter because the focus will be on the doors. Um, there's actually three elements of focus, I think, in this uh, in this scene is the, the character, that arrow uh, jump. Um, uh, cell uh, block and then the doors for some reason in the game are, are very detailed uh, which I liked I actually love the detail on these doors so I'm just doing this the, the detailing on the doors here um, and the window and uh, that's pretty much um, painting done quite happy with it I'm just refining a few areas on the character uh, refining my lines uh, just adding a few outlines here and there just to um, sharpen the edges but uh, this is it so there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this new format. Uh, personally, I, I, I like... If I'm watching a speed painting, I'd like to know the process behind, because the whole reason of watching a painting being made is that you enjoy the process itself, not the just the finished uh, result. So let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll see you next time.